Hey guys, this is Formula K with that episode of Europe as I4 or as the Byzantium on our way to the Basileus achievement. We've just beaten up Venice and Genoa and actually Lorraine as well, which I don't understand. I don't know how they got in the war to begin with. But they got and they had to get all of these like... No, I don't understand. Anyway, we will uh, remove the embargo on Ragusa. Because they are no longer our rival and we have to pick up another rival. And QQ rivaled us, so if I rival them back, but like they, they are kind of like, I don't know, they are screwed. <laughs> I think they were forced to release this guy who allied to Durkadir for some weird reason. They have still AQ as their vassal, but there's a lot of orthodoxy over here, which we can like take advantage of. But this is not going directly to our achievement which is basically this we have only still the two provinces we have to take everything from ottomans that will be really hard so can i like go for circassia as our well? no i can for crimea if they take anything from that the rest is eh like meh maybe mamelukes but they are still too big i will go for them after we deal with the ottomans because I, I think we need some stuff, maybe for the Pentarchy in the future. So that's fine. Lithuania, no, they like us. Hungary doesn't like us anymore. Look at them. Minus 128. They desire Serbia and Donjik Raji because they have a claim on them. So, no, they don't even have a claim on Serbia. They are just like, yeah, you want that and hence we hate you. They are already at war with Austria. <laughs> uh, and we want uh, the war with Lakia as well. That's true. I think it's the thing we will do now after we do deal with this, these Croatian nationalists. This is forest, which isn't nice. I will wait for my others to join me there. Actually, and we have a fleet returning to pick up my guys. I could build a whole bunch of new dudes. Then, then we will mothball the fleet, which will save us some money. But let's build a couple more dudes. We can build five more. What? Okay, did I build mercenaries? In I think I've accidentally built mercenaries or something. Okay, I want those one, two. Why can't I? Oh, my manpower is in. Okay, I'm guessing I'm not taking it. <laughs> I'm not building anything yet. We have to wait for our manpower to recover. But they are still moving over here. Serbia is like, uh, okay, Bulgaria is actually moving in to engage them. I need them to be in the province right next to me to help. We should, we should be able to win, but... Come on, guys. Hey, Bosnia. I'm helping you. Uh, I hope you like it. I'm not going to help. Uh, yeah, I was kind of slacking on YouTube. I'm sorry, but all of this will go on YouTube. I was I wanted to upload the 24-hour stream, but it was impossible to edit because it was too long. It was literally 24 or 25 hours long video, and every every piece of my software for uh, like splitting and stuff crashed. Well, it was it hanged there for like a long time. And then it crashed. So... Yeah. And it was like what I was planning to put there, but... Now we will get this series over there, so this should last for a couple of days at least. Still don't have the next rival. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what to, what to pick up, or who to pick up. I think... I, I still want... <laughs> Crimea out of this coalition, so I didn't want to rival them before. Before uh, they drop off, so I will uh, remove this. We have too many relations. Oh, that's away. That's right. Uh, get some better access. Okay, so we are not wasting as many points. So we are actually not wasting any over here. Still only 72 power projection. Because we took stuff not from. We only took one province from Venice. But we took a whole bunch from uh, their vassals, so it doesn't count. Ha! 
Herp, herps derp, welcome. Yes, I'm trying to basically, yeah, re restore the Roman Empire. But you only, no, I want to become the Basileus, so I want to become as Bas B Byzantium in the CK2, which covers all of this. Hmm. Also, I don't think I will actually like go and core this. I will release one of these guys. Actually, I I may release Kandar. And uh, as my other bazaar, after I uh, integrate half tents, eh, let's throw them real marriage, it's fine. And I will feed him this stuff. Because he has Turkish cores. Which means Turkish will become his culture, accepted culture, instantly. As soon as I will give him one province, and then I can feed him the whole Ottoman Empire. Actually, it doesn't matter right now. I don't know why, but in the latest DLC, it doesn't matter if they accept the culture or not. You can just flip the siege over to them, and this will give. The, they will take it. They, they, they should limit it. There should be at least. Oh. Minus 10% idea cost, now that I've spent the stuff on the ideas. But it's nice. This is another 10%. Okay, uh, we are making nice a lot of money, but more bowling this fleet will make us much more money. We don't need fleet to beat up Valachia. When will this run away? Uh, still, we have some time. Hungary hates us, but the... Austria hates them as well, which is nice. Poland hates them, everyone hates them. And we can take Wallachia as a whole and feed it to Bulgaria and make it big and strong. Even bigger and stronger than it already is. And I'm tempted to just let the Vazals do the heavy lifting. I'm not going to be get involved. I will let the, the Bulgaria and the Serbia and uh, Bosnia to deal with them. Let's try this. So, declare war. I can take it for myself, but actually Bulgaria fabricated a claim on them. Nice. So let's declare for the Bulgarian claim. No one will join. Distant war, fight again in a war, but otherwise he would join. And uh, we are protected by Austria, by the way, so the Ottomans shouldn't be able to attack us. Even with the Timis, we should be able to defend, especially as they have no fleet. The Timurids, I mean. So, let's go for the war. Now let's see if the vassals are able to do this on their own. Yeah, they will defend the, their territory and then they will go siege them. Hopefully. We have to annex this gentleman as well. Hey, Bulgaria, you've got a siege over there. Oh, okay, Bosnia is moving in. Someone is, has to do it and is, as he is right next door. Yeah, nothing. See? It's like having your little minions just doing all the heavy lifting for you. It's like playing... Okay, we rivaled each other. It's like playing a necromancer in, in Diablo or something. Uh, they don't want to engage. You know what? This will be... Uh, actually, let's make this Bosnian objective and this will be a Bulgarian objective. Let's see if they will do it. They are moving in. I'm going to squish this. No, they are just going somewhere. Oh, because they are in support mode and I have check mark over here. No. You know what? For this particular war, you can go out and do whatever you want. Just attack. There we go. Instant movement. <laughs> My beautiful vassals. Don't waste your manpower, though. Kill their army. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, you... Uh, yes, you can uh, You can go for The pentarchy which will basically dis dissolve the Catholic faith <laughs> It's really good Especially if there is a lot of Catholicism in the world They will lose all of their bonuses uh, The the Korea has been re remade, so I'm not sure how much it hurts them actually, but Yeah you Can mend the great schism by removing Catholicism by bringing back the pentarchy. I did it once as... Uh, as Ukraine. 
but that wasn't like oh oh my god Hungary is allied with France and they somehow got access and finally got through <laughs> well goodbye Austria please don't call me in your war I really appreciate you not calling me in the war <laughs> they're just smashing everything I will just not do it I'm not going to join a war against France I'm sorry like Poland, why aren't you like helping? Should be smashing the French armies. We got 217. How can I? I can guarantee him. And this should give us enough to finish the mission for Aragon. Okay, you can guarantee. It's 137. There is a free diplo. Uh, oh, nice! And every time you pick up another mission, you can go for another claim. Let's now go for a claim on Biga. Woohoo! And who is that? Oh, yes, we have Annex. Athens! Oh, now we have cheaper, cheaper ideas, so I will I'll take that. 360 admin power. And then when you finish Humanist Ideas, you will get it all the time. Uh, the rest of heretics plus three. It's not like worthless, but the nationalism will be kind of good, I guess. Civic culture threshold will be good as well. And having this before we like start integrating people will be really nice, I think. Because as soon as they are accepted, they are unlikely to drop. I still feel like I should have picked the the religious ideas over this, but whatever. You can drop the idea group, by the way. Maybe I should have done that. Yeah, it, it refunds like a tiny portion of the power you've spent. But you can do it uh, when you have nothing. When I had nothing researched. And we could have like changed it to the religious ideas. But uh, I've already committed. So let's, let's work on that. That will make the religious ideas cheaper. And this will most likely will be the ideas group I will take next. Mm hmm. Fabricate the claim on bigger. Yeah, everyone wants bigger. He wants to be bigger. Tunis and Tunis, okay. They like never got the alliance with Crimea, which is just insane. I don't understand. Yeah, France is just breaking their face. You get to one. Let's move it over to Bulgaria. No more. No, they still have some unrest over there. Because it's Catholic. <sighs> call Crusades. You can like start Holy Wars. But I don't think you can like call Crusades. Oh, you can. You can. If you are controller of the... Of the Pope. I'm not sure how it is. They, they changed it a little bit. So I'm not sure about that. But uh, Okay. Oh no! What have I done? No, you can't do this. Uh, I just remembered, you can't do this. You can't uh, give the whole country to your vassal. It doesn't work. I will be able to take only one. Uh, why did I remember a lot too late? Because you would have, I would, I should have switched one, the non-capital. No, I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't give them this. And is this the accepted culture actually? It is. So they would take both of them, one at a time. But yeah, you can't do it. Okay, I will take one. That sucks. And we are getting the reparations as well. How much is this money? Uh, <laughs> two ducats. That's nice. Anyway, okay, I will take just one. And well, I'll give it to Bulgaria. Wow. And it's the claim. Hopefully they will fabricate the claim on that, because you can't fl flip it over to someone else. You can't. If you click on that, it will move you to the to the place. And you can't ask them to flip it over. <laughs> I don't have any more claims. Either. Okay, I don't want your money. Actually, nah. Please fabricate a claim on that, Bulgaria. That would be grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sucks. Maybe I should have, like, white beast out and do it again. Uh, 
reoccupy. No, it's, uh, I can't. The, it's, it's not possible to do this in any way. Maybe they will rival me. That would be nice. I don't think they can, but so I can rival them back. So I can get rid of this stupid flag. Okay. Trade range, marketplace, dock. Could be nice. Also, you can pick up a better, couple of better advisors. Special tax modifier is nice. Missionary strength will be nice when we take over the Ottomans. We have the statesman because oh, we have to do this. Okay. <sighs> yes, Bulgaria is the vassal of Byzantines. Ah, uh, uh, these are my vassals and Athens. You can see it over here. This is my sphere of. Well, the sphere of influence is bugged, right? <laughs> but basic is my sphere of influence. Bosnia, Serbia, and Bulgaria are all of my vassals. And Athens, and I will integrate. And they have only one. <laughs> they have only one uh, province. Ah. Obscuratism for two years. Can we tank it? I think we can actually like tank it Because we have the local traditions and we are slowly losing the regular strength. I think it's fine. It's only for two years And it'll be fine They have a, like Byzantine peasants. They have a tiny sliver of chance to go like 1.4 per month To go up and we can monitor it over there should be fine as the war exhaustion goes down, it will fix itself as well. So now we have to recover. We have to recover our manpower. Maybe even level up our technology. It would be nice having better dudes. Supply limit, all that good jazz. I wonder if it will give us get us ahead of time. I'm sure. Oh my god, Ottomans are military level six. They are two ahead of us. Wow, do we have an OP? No, he has a Regency Council. Okay, nice. Give me a Medi points, please. I'm not going to level it up now. We don't have to. And we can still take it cheaper a little bit later. And before Peasant War. No. See, it's gone. It's already gone. It's not happening, guys. No. We have to build up our trade fleet as well. We are already over the limit. By a little bit, actually. It's not that bad as it used to be. We have 36 galleys and you have only one bark. I will build up to like 10 because they will pay for it themselves. Because they make so much more, so much difference in the... In... Uh, in Constantinople. Like the... This is worth 19 ducats and we are getting only 9 out of it. So... We want more! And they will literally pay for themselves, and then some. So we fabricated a claim, and now... Restore Pentarchy, see? I don't think we can take Rome right now. And everything else is in Mam Mameluk territory. The Alexandria... Uh, Aleppo is up here. And the last one is Jerusalem, of course. Which is there, and actually it's not the last one. Alexandria and Rome. Yes, so our manpower needs to recover. That's true. That's so true. I may even take the mission. Yeah, because we are not going in any wars anytime soon. Ottomans can't grow. They can't even take over Ragusa and stuff because they have Regency Council for how long? For another eight years. They, they are stuck here. They can't do anything. <laughs> they can just sit there and hate us. Exactly like the blade. My navy was what won the war. It also means I can't build up my army to my limit. Uh, inside a little bit. Building them trade ships. I may build even more than these nine. And they get progressively more expensive as well as you build them. So you want to build actually all of them at once. 
Hungary is still losing the war? No, he's not winning because France is just whipping, whooping the ass of them. I am allied with Austria. Lucky for me, they are not <laughs> inviting me in the war. Keep it like that, Austria. I don't want to join. Oh, look at that. Six guys against 31. And they... Like, they would defeat a slightly smaller army. <laughs> but that was a victory for Austria. Nice, well done. And all, for some reason, France is really kind of bad leaders. And having these bazaars is so good. It sucks that I don't have the, the second province from Wallachia. It sucks so much. And there's no way for me to fabricate a claim on it. I hope the Bulgaria will do it, but maybe not. Because this is like free army for me, right? That's a big effing free army. And if I build up to my limit, we will have bigger army than the Ottomans. Not necessarily better. Because there are two technologies ahead of us. But we should... Like, the next goal has to be their mainland. So we can't do the trick with the ships anymore. Mm, I'm still building one ship. This one days in Tezali. Protect the trade in Constantinople. We actually have a control over the Crimea trade note as well. I don't know how. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sending even more money to Constantinople. Would you like to get out of this coalition, please? Athens, Poland, Hungary, Lithuania. Like, independent Lithuania is stronger than Poland, isn't it? But they are also at risk of being attacked by Muscovy. Who is already like sieging up the Novgorod and taking over everything. Even Kazan is falling to them. Golden Horde is strong because the Crimea isn't allied with Ottomans. And they did they take anything from Circassa? These two provinces, I think. They took them from Circassa. They are still Orthodox? No. No, they only take, took one. Only this one province was taken. They have some unrest even. So this may flip over. And they are only allied with Nogai over here. Is Nogai uh, friendly with the Golden Horde? No. So they can't get through. So attacking Crimea is just attacking Crimea. Okay. Good to know. Six out of four. Oh, yeah, Garanting Aragon. I don't want to. We will guarantee. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Let's see populations with Crimea. Let's try to get them out of the coalition. Because it's only like it, actually who is in the coalition again? It's only Crimea. I want this coalition to go away. Because if you don't have a coalition, the only possible way for the people to join it is if they neighbor you. Directly. If they don't, they can't join the coalition against you. And they can't create it. <sighs> oh god. Naples are being sieged by Neapolitan uh, pretender rebels. Hmm. I would like to have France as my ally. That would be like game over. Victory and everything. Oh, like. If you st when you start, you have only this and these two provinces and the vassal. So you have to figure out the right way to do it. By the way, uh, it's like costing us nothing. The free, it's not giving us anything. But it's like free ships. I want to these guys to join them. No. And I I'm forgetting the claims actually for the for the missions, which is nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 10 trade ships we are making 12.76 who is the other guy who are the guys that are taking stuff Ottomans have a lot of trade power over there I'm guessing because they have more diplomatic technology only one but it may be a difference <laughs> yeah, still not maxed out, so I'm not going to level it up. 
we are going to annex Athens. That will, that will not be that much, and the statesman should make it much faster. Are you fabricating claims on that? Bulgaria? You can do it! Bulgaria, you can do it! Okay, so we talked off Crimea. Would you like to be removed from the coalition against us? Nice. Thank you. No. A oh, match from Bosnia. Mm. Yeah, we Make our vassals like me a bit more. And this will give us safe marriages as well. <laughs> so Austria has lost the war. What happened? Event, who cares? I think I completely missed it. Okay, let me let me enable this because war. Uh, a nation because war upon you. Well, that's that would be nice. But like when a nation declares war upon you, but. When someone declares for on someone else, others. Okay, there it is. Another nation collects more taxes. Nation declares war upon another nation. Okay, and the peace deal as well. When a nation accepts a peace with another nation. Okay, this is what I want. I hope I. Agree. Yes, close, close. I want to see what happened. They are still in a war with someone. They are in two other wars. Austria, you are becoming a really bad, bad ally. I think I have to switch to Poland. I'm sorry. You are unreliable. Opposing military schools. We can take discipline or and land force limits or morale and for defense. Usually I will take this one, because the discipline is just better. And I would like to boost the stability. I just like it in plus one. So in some weird coring accident, I don't... They are fabricating claim on <laughs> Constantinople. Come on, Ottomans. You can't win. It's a secret. And we can, like... What, what the size of your army, Ottomans? They still have a bigger army than me, but what's the size? They have... A huge army. If we can uh, catch this over here by blockading this strait, then uh, it will be left with only 14 guys, which we can smash. And he will be unable to run away. I actually, I think... Can the escaping armies cross the strait if it's blockaded? I'm not sure about that. But yeah... Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't take the land. I. Oh, yes, I took all of this. Yeah. I didn't annex it because this is another seven regiments I don't have to pay for. And this is a culture that I don't accept. As well. So I don't have to deal with the unrest. And this is just seven guys. I wouldn't get seven guys out of this, and I would have to pay for them in my manpower. Having three vassals like that is really good because this is like a buffer manpower for you as well. If you combine all of our armies, like Ottomans have 26 regiments, we have this is 16, this is 37 combined, and they have chance to get a good general as well, each of them. But this is really nice. Well, oh my god. No, this is Salzburg. I was like, Bohemia, what are you taking over there? Yeah, yeah. And the autonomy thing is uh, thing as well. And if you just do it like... I just, I just feel like having the vassals is better. Uh, please stop this alliance with the Naples. 
Hmm. Well, they like each other too much. I have to go in the war with Naples as well. I could just like blockade them, right? Ragusa, Genoa, and Milan. <laughs> I don't think Genoa wants into it. I just want to finish this so I don't have to care about it. I want Ragusa. It's so good. It's an important center of trade. And eventually, when we take care of the Ottomans, which will be again through like feeding another vassal of uh, full of <laughs> mm, Ottomans. Uh, we'll start integrating all of them and we'll deal with everything and slowly because of the new mechanics you can't integrate m multiple vassals but yeah I will get rid of them as soon as I don't need them anymore I can take Ragusa yeah I have a mission to recover manpower but like the only thing you have to do uh, unmouth ball this and just block stop the <laughs> Naples or anyone from helping wait five years and take Ragusa. I should do it before the Venice does it actually. Hmm. I even have a claim myself, but I will give it to Bosnia. And this should work. Like if it's only one province, you can do it. But if it's multiple provinces and you want to take over the whole thing and give it to your vassal, you have to take it yourself. You can't transfer... You can transfer the other province. I think. If I'm not mistaken. I may be mistaken about that. You just have to take it all yourself and then sell it over to them slowly. Like in the old times. Okay, let's see what we do, sir. They've been there for way too long. This may make Naples join, uh, join this again. Like, I could take Naples as my other vassal. <laughs> As insane as it sounds. But the problem is I did it once and this made everyone, ev literally every single one over here hate me so much that it created a coalition I couldn't, I couldn't handle. And then they in instantly declared for me. Austria was in the coalition as well, so they will not be in the coalition now. There's no aggressive expansion there. There's a, like, I have almost no... I guess the expansion. See, like, no one hates me right now. I could vassalize Naples. But what what good would, would it make to me, like, give to me? Like, it will make it rather easy to take Rome for the Pentarchy. And I have to do it, like, eventually. But their armies are worthless. They will just take one of my... Uh, other like spots and I'm already like over the limit and rather than then I would like to ally Poland or something it would be much better so I will start annexing Vazals as soon as we deal with the Ottomans that's basically it as soon as they are no longer a threat I will start I think annexing these Vazals I may just keep them I don't know Oh, I can invest in the indirect rule, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, there was a lot of theory crafting. And the gist of it is, I don't think I will... I will check it out. Because <laughs> I don't want to wait for five years. And they are still, like, attacked by the rebels. Do they have any army? Uh, Naples. Yeah, they have 10k, so... They are not an easy target. I will just... I will just... I think I'll just take Ragusa. That's it. They have no army. <laughs> okay. Uh, does the Naples have any transports? F6. So I need a more bolts. Maybe just half of it would be enough, actually. Maybe half of it will be enough. Because their, their fleet is like pathetic, isn't it? Yeah. Like 8 galleys and 6 lights. Should be enough. Ah, let's not be cheap. Let's not. Let's unmold ball all of it. Let it repair and then we will start the war for Ragusa. Yes, I need to. That's why I'm working on, uh, on their relations right now. That's why I'm doing it. I could swap, like, the, the, the reason I don't want Naples, really, 
Like, I want them for the roam. But... Because I would just uh, take a bruise as a province, right? Fabricate the claim and sell it back to Naples. And then they would basically win me the war against the Rome. They are allied with Hungary and... Hungary and Aragon right now. So that's not nice. But they, they may lose their alliances and stuff, so... Uh, yeah. And actually, we could just declare war on Hungary. Which is allied with France. <laughs> no. <laughs> or, like, Naples. For the claims of... Or, or Aragon. I can just figure something out. Dissolving the HRE. Gera declared war on the Utrecht. Okay. Okay, Gallery. Go get him, boy! Even Ragusa is level 5. <laughs> Behind! It takes like a, less than a year, like 10 months. Not 10 months, 7 months to... Or 8 months to fix your Moatbolt navy. So it's kind of unfortunate if you are attacked. I don't think this will ever happen. Still are in two wars against Palatinate. Ark and Burgundy and Brabant. Why are you in these two wars? Defender and Defender. Oh, he's defending the Empire. Okay. Sad that Dragusa is no longer our rival. Actually, making the Naples our rival just before we start the war will be good. Especially if we take them over. Can we fabricate a claim on them? one of them? Just to, be like, just to have it. Like, uh, I don't know. Salern Salento. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, you lose diplomatic reputation. That's why I actually picked up a statesman. I don't need him yet. But you can't, like start annexing another guy because you need positive diplomatic reputation hmm. really how do i get a claim on grimaire what i don't really understand but okay Wow, Gazi, Gazi, I think it's the Timurids blew up into little guys, and they all inherited the alliance with the Ottomans or something. Hmm. Oh, really? Cyprus is fabricating claim on <laughs> on roads. I could take Cyprus as well, by the way, and I should. Uh, they are uh, uh, guaranteed by Mamluks, but I have bigger fleet than Mamluks, so I can just wait five years and take it. And I should. I think this will be the next war. I don't think I will finish the, the mission. Oh, Riazan. What? Oh, this is Ramazan. I was like, what? what? How, how, how did they get into this war anyway? Uh, accepted peace with Lithuania, full annexation. Okay, so you got a province. Fine. A province. You still have rebels. Yeah, they are kind of beaten up. But they still exist. I don't hunting them down or something. Uh, Cologne, except peace. Cologne to Aachen. So Col Cologne doesn't have Cologne anymore. And they move their capital over here. Okay. Wittenberg. Oh, that's just uh, one province minus. Just kicking each other's butts. Mm hmm. Is it unmoved vault? Yeah, it is. So, well, I can't un annex you in the war anyway. Ooh, look at that! Honest broker! 
We are gaining an international reputation as a nation that will respect the interests of all its citizens and defend the rights of others. Our domestic fair dealings is paying off in our neighborhood. So, actually, now that I stopped it, I will gain enough to annex it. Look at that! But I will do it after the war, I think. Let's spend on that. There are boys in the... Well, over there. Ragusa, Genoa and Milania. They are the only ones with any fleet. <sighs> Ragusa, how about the war? Oh no, fuck me. Castile is the defender of the faith. They are going to... Why did you do that, Castile? Why was I getting ready for this? No. I can't fight the Castilian fleet. Castile? I, no, they have nine heavies. That's like 20 galleys. Hmm. I wonder if I can or cannot fight them. 36 galleys and 10 lights. So I can I can outweigh their lights with my... Hmm. I don't think I will win this battle. I don't want to piss off Castile either. They are already pissed off. <laughs> How many leaks to center of the Tutsi Pop? <laughs> hmm. By the way, I like Ragusa. It feels like... Hmm. Why did you have to pick up this? He's allied with Provence, Portugal and Venice. And he will join, just like Naples. And Austria will not join on my side. Because they are in debt. And even then they would. Wouldn't because they have war exhaustion. <sighs> Is it worth it that one province... Uh, I don't think so. I don't want to fight this deal. Oh, that was a... That was something else. <laughs> I still have to... Oh, finally, good guy, Crimea. Left the coalition against me, so it doesn't exist anymore. And now I can finally rival you. <laughs> hey, Crimea. How about being my rival? <laughs> and we can integrate Athens. Annex, please. Minus 30, so even this is worse. This used to be minus 25. And on top of that, you will lose two. It will take only two years. And you will lose diplomatic reputation. Ooh, we are a rival of... So this will be a rivalry war. If we attack them ever. In the near future. Which is really nice. Also, let's pick this up. Upgrade our troops. Eastern Militia. See, they only have shock. They've only shock pips, so only shock counts. Anyone uh, keeping count how long these episodes are? I, I, I feel like it, they are getting like an hour long. They created the coalition. The Ottomans. Holy shit. Okay. Hopefully no one else will join. Crimea could. Pisa accepted peace with, the, with Tuscany. Full annexation. Goodbye, Pisa. <laughs> yeah, Pisa doesn't exist anymore. It's only Tuscany. Fine. Can you please stop being defender of the faith? That would be grand. Also, fabricating this claim is kind of moot point. But I will finish it. I don't know. Uh, relations map. You mean diplomatic map mode? Or coalition map mode? I only have Ottomans in my coalition. Malakia is likely to join. Then we have opinion map mode. A lot of people likes me. Venice hates me. Oh god. Lithuania likes me a lot. So it's fine. Yeah, the, the I was shouldn't be... Uh, I'm not sure. 
how I feel about that. It feels broken, you are right. Hmm, is it still cheaper or not? No, it's 400. You lost the bonus. And again, I don't think I will core anything, so it's fine to spend admin points on different things. But we have to get to level 7 so we can we can get the, the religious ideas to convert the Ottomans. Because I'm not sure, maybe the, the Vassal will do it for me, because I will use him as a Greek. And uh, Orthodox, so he may do it for me. But maybe we'll see how it works. This works out. QQ with Georgia. Georgia will be forced to give QQ 10%, so they have war reparations. And they vassalize Georgia. So QQ has Georgia as their Orthodox vassal. QQ is Coptic? No. How did they get Coptic province over there? That's confusing. There's another Coptic. What? Yeah, this is all Coptic. Even this is Coptic. Hmm. Okay. Goodbye, Georgia. Goodbye, your freedom. No, it's the comet. I wish I lived in more enlightened times. And apparently this is because... Uh, you... In CK2 or in Victoria, I think it's a good event. It basically gives you something positive. It's only in U4 where it's really bad. No, oh, I've been discovered. No, Naples, don't join the coalition, please. I, I should have stopped that. If they join the coalition, I'm really, really bad. In really bad shape. I'm going to improve relations now. <laughs> hey, Naples, we could be friends. You don't, have to, you don't have to join the coalition against me. I don't want to fight them and the Ottomans. <sighs> Fabricate the claim, Bulgaria. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my god, they fabricated all of these claims? Yeah, Bulgaria is fabricating claims all over the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> well, that's an un... That's kind of interesting, I have to say. Do we want Bulgaria over here? I'm not sure about that. I will create another vassal over here. Because they will not accept that they... What? Can vassal join the coalition in any situation? No. They can't do anything. They can only fight for their independence. They can't even ally anyone. If you have a scientist, it will be a good event. You know what's the worst nation to get this? Is the Scotland. Because they have a, a national idea, which is comets. So th they like discovered how the comets work. But even the Scottish guys will get minus one stability from that event. Everyone will get it. <laughs> Accepted culture visual, it's nice. Of course, all of our provinces are Greek, but it's not bad. Also, we could take uh, Cyprus and from the Mamluks to take one of them. like we don't have that much stuff left. There is the Te Trebizond, and then we have the capital of the Ottoman Empire. That's last like last three cores we have to take. This is actually an independent. You know, this is a vassal of Circassia. Circassia. And this is a Greek, and we have the we have everything. Why? No, this is Crimea. Oh, this is Crimea. I thought it was something else. Ah. No, and they I have a vassal Circassia. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm getting confused. We should finish the mission soon ish. Sad that it's 90%, so you have to go to like 20,000 to get there. No. Court factions influence ruler. Well, well done. It's like him having like for four years plus one in one of these categories. It's very nice. Also, do we need anything? I think we need admin guy. Better admin guy. But not as good as this one. Because he is costing 10. 
Oh, the money. <sighs> what are you waiting for? For the mission? It can't be just a mission. As soon as you start the war, by the way, this mission is failed. I don't think you'll get there. Let's cancel the mission. We have been working, working on that for a while, but now we are going to attack Cyprus and take it. The Mamelukes have decent navy because they defeated the, the Venice. But it's not as good as ours. They have five heavies. No, they, their fleet is garbage. So let's un, uh, unmove all that and you'll take our stuff. We could even like fabricate a claim on Ramazan and take that. Hmm. Yeah, we have a lot of dosh. Yeah, integrated Athens, so this will give us minus three diplomatic reputation. Oh, it's so painful. And it lasts for ten years. So for ten years we can't integrate another vassal. But actually it posted our name our army and we can have twenty eight regiments. That's more than the Ottomans. Am I insane? No, that's almost as much as the Ottomans, and their manpower is just off, off, out of this world. But then again, we, I think what I, what I will do, I will destroy this uh, army, I will put my fleet over here when we finally attack the Ottomans. And then I will let through only one army at a time, like a small sack, and then destroy it, and do it again, and again, again, until they have no manpower. And we can use all of our vassals for that as well, which is very nice. And they had one transport, that's not bad. We can add this to our to the rest of the fleet. Okay. Athens reclaimed! Look at the beautiful picture! Ah, oh, Acropolis. Uh, for centuries Athens was a center of Byzantine culture and art, until it was lost to the Latians, or Latians in the Fourth Crusade. More recently the city has been the capital of an independent duchy ruled by various western families. That time is at an, at an end, however, and for the first time since 1204 Athens is part of the Byzantine Empire again. Ten prestige and diploma of power. Beautiful! It almost refunds, like, not everything, but a little bit of the diploma cost. I have to pour myself a little, some drink. And also, uh, I think it's yeah, let's round it up right now. I know this episode was longer, sorry, on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you want to see more, subscribe, comment down below and be awesome. Uh, bye.